Hello and welcome to Wheel Life, the video diary that helps you to understand what life is like living with an electric unicycle. And in this episode, we're going to go small. We're going to take a look at this, the mighty M103 from Bigode. Now, with trends for EUCs increasingly moving in the direction of bigger, stronger, faster, and suspension, you might be asking yourself the question, what is the point of an M103? Who in their right mind would possibly buy one, and what purpose could it possibly serve? Well, instead of me giving you a standard YouTube review of, here's a unicycle, here's the specifications, instead, I'm going to give you the top five reasons why every EUC rider should consider having an M103 somewhere in their life. So here we go, the top five reasons why you should have an M103. And please, please, please stick around to the very end for the best ever use for an EUC. So it probably goes without having to be said, but the M10 is probably the most portable of all wheels. It's got a tiny, teeny 10 inch wheel and it only weighs 11 kilograms. So you don't have to be able to bench press like Dwayne The Rock Johnson to carry it around. I mean, you can use this thing like a paperweight. In fact, you might need to use a paperweight to keep the M103 where you left it on a windy day. You can fit it into a bag. You can just stick it in the corner of the room. If you're a clown, I bet you could drop it into your trouser pocket. And what's brilliant is if you live on the top floor of a block of flats, you don't need to camp at the bottom of the stairs overnight if you come home late and find that the lift is broken. Now I find it absolutely astonishing that a wheel of this size and weight can still pack an 800 watt motor and 512 watt hours of battery. That translates to a wheel with a top speed of about 25 miles an hour and a range of about 22 miles. So don't let the tiny weight and size fool you. And that tiny size comes into its own if you're looking for a last mile commuter unicycle. Now, of all the unicycles I've got, not a quite as practical or versatile as the M103 for commuting. You can just pick it up, stick it onto a parcel shelf or a luggage rack, or just slide it under the seat. Now, it doesn't have a trolley handle, but how daft would that be? So you do have to carry it. And even though it's only small and 11 kilograms, after a while it can feel quite heavy. But as I've said, you can stick it into a rucksack, so no problem. Now, of course, there are much faster wheels out there on the market, but this might be the very best wheel for riding in busy pedestrianised areas. It's still six times faster than walking, but yet this wheel is so nimble and agile that it's very easy to ride it at slower than walking speeds. And that fat three-inch tubeless tyre means that you can almost stand this wheel at a standstill with very little effort at all. And the relatively small size and the relatively large motor compared to the ratio of the body rider's height and weight means that the slightest adjustments of your weight will cause this wheel to respond instantly. And that gives you quite a twitchy rider experience that takes some getting used to. But once you've got control of it, this is perhaps the wheel you can ride in places where other larger wheels just might not be appropriate. For a unicycle, it's got all the basics you need. It's got the nice shiny light at the front and LEDs at the front and the back as well. So if you go out after dark, you're relatively visible. It's also got a nice USB port in there to charge your devices on the move. For a commuter, that is a really nice little addition to have. La noticia de la semana con Telefónica. Now, if you drive an electric car, I think you should consider getting an M103. I keep mine in the boot of my car at all times. And if I ever need to find a public charging point to get some additional charge, that inconvenience of having an electric car is just about eradicated. I drive to where I need to be, hop onto my EUC, and I'm back where I started it in no time at all. I even think that Tesla should think about partnering with Bigode and providing an M103 with every car they sell. Just think about it. They could even create a nice storage space in the boot that even charges the wheel at the same time. Elon Musk, if you are watching this, this is what genius looks like. 
So having an affordable, light, compact, fast and fun EUC in the car at all times is perfect for those emergency ride outs we need to have from time to time. And yes, we've all had those kind of emergencies. Think about times where you'd love to have your wheel with you, but either you forgot to bring it or it just wouldn't fit in the car. Going on holiday, for example. Well, no problem. The M103, your car buddy is there with you all the time. Perfect. So if you're new to riding, then the M103 is a great place to start. Now it's not gonna give you the most comfortable ride experience. So if you're wanting to go a longer distance, say 20 kilometers, then I'd encourage you to look at the Inmotion V8. Similar specifications, similar price bracket, but it's got a 16 inch wheel and a bigger body. So it's gonna give you a more mature, smoother riding experience. However, there is a payoff. It's two kilograms heavier and obviously it's bigger. But the M103, in my opinion, is a fantastic wheel for learning the basics of riding really quickly, but also some of those more advanced skills. Riding backwards, for example. Now, in my opinion, there's no other wheel that's as easy to ride backwards as the M103. So if this is a skill you've struggled with, get your hands on one and you'll be zipping around in all directions in no time at all. I'm now riding around a maze. Oh, dead end. Can we go back the other way? No problem. No problem on the M103. <laughs> now riding off-road is good fun too, but don't forget that small 10-inch wheel is going to magnify and amplify every single pebble and stick and pothole in your path. So be careful, it's never going to be as smooth as those larger wheels that are out there. But it does have relatively large foot plates that are nice and grippy so it is surprisingly comfortable to ride and it has these nice cushioned pads giving you some grip unlike the s2 which is like riding a unicycle that's been lubricated with butter but that airless tubeless tire in there does hit the ground like a lump of concrete falling from a tree so if you are jumping off things remember to bend your knees otherwise your spine might emerge through the top of your crash helmet having said that you still can have enormous amounts of fun on the M103. And to prove that, here is something that is going to make you want to dash out and buy an M103 straight away. Now, I've proven that the M103 is great to have. It's a practical wheel. It's just so useful and versatile. But it's also great for having a bit of fun with dressing up. So I've brought the M103 here to a public park on one of the hottest days of the year 37 degrees at quarter past six in the evening to dress up in fancy dress and see what reaction i get from unwitting members of the public
why would you wear protective gear when you can go out dressed like this? Well, that's it for this episode of Wheel Life. I hope that you've enjoyed it and it's put a smile on your face. If it has, then please do give me a thumbs up, a like, and a subscribe. And add your comments below and tell me what you think about this little wheel or any of the wheels that you have. Please do stay safe out there and I'll see you again next time on Wheel Life.